Well, the biggest challenge here is everything that we do here is 10 times harder than what we do back at ASU. We, ha we don't have near the oven space, the flat top space, the refrigeration or freezer space. So logistically, that's, that's, that's the hardest part. People question why it takes a week to set up to get everything ready for these guys. And you saw from outside all the pieces of machinery and equipment and trucks that it takes just to be here to be ready for them on uh, Monday when they came up. Biggest difference is just the size of the kitchen. In Tempe, we have a wall of ovens. We have 12 ovens. In Camp T, we only have two. Also, in Tempe, we have three deep fryers. We don't have no deep fryers. We have two preparation tables at Camp T. In Tempe, we have about 12. And down here, everything, we've got to hand wash everything. And then also, in Tempe, we have a machine. On a shift up here with four meals, we'll have anywhere between 14 to 16 people up here they're always prepping at least three to four meals ahead. So if you were to come in in the morning for breakfast, these guys are not only putting out breakfast, but they're prepping for lunch, dinner, snack for the next day. If we're not three meals ahead, there, and with the space we have, there's no way we can go ahead and, and do the turnarounds as quick as they are with here. Tonight, we're doing carved sirloin. We'll go through almost a couple hundred pounds of sirloin and a couple hundred pounds of chicken uh, all in for the meal tonight. We try to keep it interesting, we try to keep it fun, we try to change it up. And I think we've overall, uh, I think you probably hear a lot of good things from the players as far as uh, uh, what, what they do when they get to eat up here.